Ash is not doing too well, but he is in a really flirty mood. He had a flirtatious school day. Was it with Nanami? Oh wait, Nanami's a young adult. So who were you having a flirtatious day at school with? Welcome back to another episode of the Occult Baby Challenge! And as you can see, today we are starting off in Cass, which is something I don't normally do, but today is a very special day as there has been a major update for Sims to get likes and dislikes, where I am so excited to assign each household member their likes and dislikes. I did ask you guys for some suggestions last video, if you haven't seen it, I will have a link in the description for you. There has also been an update for in-game hair colors, which I think is so amazing for all of you guys who only play in-game stuff so you guys get more variety of hair colors which has been needed for a long time but I'm happy they did it eventually and hopefully they expand on that and get even more hair colors maybe even an option to do like hair dye i think that would be so freaking cool but anyway i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do please do give it a like and subscribe if you are new comment something down below i love reading your comments and let's get into today's video okay i wanted to start off with amber but for some reason the arranged order of the household members is just really weird in Cass. Why Raven is first? I don't know. She's not the breadwinner of the family so I don't really get it but I guess we're gonna start off with her just because she's at the top. Oh and you guys really liked Raven last episode which made me so happy. I think she looks amazing and I'm super excited to play with her. Okay so for color a lot of you guys were saying that her favorites should be orange and brown. I think it would be kind of cool if her and Sage, since they don't get along, I think them two having opposite likes and dislikes would be really funny. So I'm gonna get her to dislike purple and dislike pink. And for music genre, um, okay, one of you guys said that her favorite music should be jazz, which is quite interesting, and that her least favorite music should be kids' radio. So that's exactly what I'm going to add. Or maybe she likes, I feel like she would like singer songwriter music as well. So I'm also gonna add that. And for activity, I'm just gonna make her favorites to be the ones we have to master. Well, not master, get to level five of. So I think it's gardening and flower arranging. Oh my gosh, flower arranging isn't here. What type of nonsense? Yeah, flower arranging isn't an option what the hell sims team i thought all the skills were here i guess i'm gonna add painting instead since she is an art lover and least favorite hobby um i'm gonna say she really doesn't like cooking something you have to do on a daily basis maybe she just doesn't like it i don't know that's just random of me okay let's move on to sage sage the little troublemaker let me put you in your everyday outfit okay so sage her favorite colors are definitely going to be purple and pink and i'm also going to put black as well and her least favorite colors are going to be brown and orange since they are raven's favorite colors okay her favorite music genre this is where i'm gonna need you guys' help okay i think for sage i'm gonna make her like spooky music uh right now i wish i had the nifty knitting stuff pack so i can get her to like metal i think that would definitely be up her alley but i don't have that stuff pack currently I might get it one day, but not right now. She does not like jazz music. She also doesn't like romance music. She probably finds it super cringy. Okay, activity. Um, not really many activities here. I'm gonna make her like video gaming and mischief. She would definitely love mischief. I'm gonna leave her dislikes for now because I'm not really sure what Sage dislikes doing. Hopefully the game will generate something. And let's move on to Jack. Okay, for Jack, I'm gonna get him to like blue and white and maybe even, should I do red and green as well? Okay, I'm gonna do red and green because you know, Christmassy colors. I'm not gonna get him to dislike any colors because again, I want the game to randomly generate some of this stuff. Okay, he has to like winter holiday music, like he has to. And I feel like Jack would really like hip-hop as well and that hip-hop radio station oh the bangers on there maybe he doesn't like tween pop he's not really a big fan of alternative music i'm just being super random right now summer strut music's not his thing he's definitely a winter baby 
get it because he's a winter twin okay let me stop um favorite activities definitely baking i feel like he would really like cooking as well he loves handiness and he's not a big fan of the violin not a big fan of wellness because frost likes wellness Oh, he definitely likes fitness as well. Oh, and I think for music, I'm gonna get him to also like island music because he is a child of the island. It just makes sense. Okay, I think Jack is done. Next, let's go on to Frost. Color. we're gonna go for i think we're gonna go for the same as jack just because they're both winter twins so white blue green and red music genre again we're definitely gonna get him to like winter holiday music i feel like frost would like alternative music maybe even some blues and i feel like he would hate hip-hop hate island music hates summer strut music as well okay that's good and then activity he really likes wellness um what's the other thing you have to do herbalism but that isn't here which is really annoying i don't know why some skills are here and some skills aren't it just doesn't really make sense but i'm gonna get him to like gardening he probably hates handiness he probably hates getting his hands dirty i think that's good oh and he probably hates mischief because sage is so mischievous and always bullies him about everything so i think he's probably gonna hate mischief after hanging out with sage a lot but yeah i think frost is done let's move on to does tragedy get any no tragedy doesn't get any likes and dislikes and now it's amber's turn okay for amber um i'm gonna see i think maybe her favorite colors She's wearing a green top, so I'm gonna put green. I feel like she would like orange as well. I don't know what she would dislike though. I'm also gonna put red because why not? Okay, I'm gonna leave the dislikes on that alone and let's move on to music genre. A lot of you actually don't know this, but I used to play with Amber in a different save file. Um, before I did YouTube or anything like that, I played with her at like a legacy challenge and she was like the daughter of like the fifth generation and i remember her mom was black and her mom also had i got her mom from the gallery by the way and this is why her eyes are like this specific eye shape because i got her mom off the gallery and her mom also had these eyes and a lot of the kids are inheriting these eyes as well so yeah that's why her eye shape is like i don't know how to describe it it's like really elongated and like downturned so yeah um i think her mom is like black with latin descent and her dad is white so i think she would really like latin music and latin pop maybe she also likes or oh, she definitely likes the kids radio where is it she definitely likes kids radio she probably also likes lullabies radio music because she's very family orientated i think she is probably not a fan of spooky music not a fan of like electric stuff or like maybe not a fan of dj booth music either and for her activities she absolutely loves cooking she loves gardening as well she loves handiness she absolutely loves to paint i think she's starting to get into fitness as well but i'm not gonna make it a like i want it like the game to generate it maybe she's not a massive fan of doing dangerous things things that could hurt her or her children such as skiing and snowboarding oh this is so annoying when you like click on a like or dislike it immediately brings you back to the top of the list which can be pretty annoying because i have to keep scrolling down maybe she's not a massive fan of video games either and i think we are finished with amber now let's move on to ash and there was a little bit of debating in the comments i'll go into your everyday outfit there was a little bit of debating whether he should like green or dislike green and i think it would be really funny for him to dislike the color green but since his skin tone is green i feel like if he disliked that color he would just be depressed every time he looked into the mirror so i think him not liking green would have been funny like i would have totally done it but mentally for him it's probably not gonna be great um like looking at yourself and you being your least favorite color so i think i'm gonna make him like green he probably likes black as well and red he probably hates pink maybe he hates 
Um, would he hate yellow? Wait, let me check if any of his outfits have yellow in it. Okay, none of his outfits have yellow, so he probably doesn't like yellow. I think he would like purple as well. Okay, let me leave it there. I don't want to do too many. Music genre. Since Ash is really into playing the guitar, I think he would like alternative music. He probably likes hip hop as well. Maybe he also likes Summer Strut, like a little bit of opposition with the twins. He probably hates, no, he probably loves kids radio music as well because I feel like he will be very family orientated when he grows older. He probably doesn't like easy listening music. Maybe not the biggest fan of new age music. Again, I'm just being random with these selections. Maybe he likes spooky music a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. And then activities um definitely guitar i feel like ash would enjoy a little workout and what would he not like i think i'm gonna leave ash there just let the game randomly generate some likes and dislikes for him and that took me 25 minutes to do <laughs> Why did that take me so long? I don't know, but we are done now. So let's get into some gameplay. Okay, so we are back in game and it's one o'clock in the morning. I want everyone to get to bed. Okay, all the girls are going to bed. What about the boys? Jack, go and get some sleep. I know you're tired. Oh look, all the likes and dislikes are here. So you can check all of them and you can also enter creator sim this way, which is pretty cool. Okay, everyone's in bed, perfect. Let me fast forward through the night wait before we fast forward through the night another thing that the update gave us oh wait let me turn on this room's lights i can actually slot the desk wow. underneath the bed which is great i can't put two underneath the bed i don't think no i don't think i could put two of these let me at least try though i don't think i could yeah i don't think i can put two under the bed which sucks but at least this can actually be slotted underneath the bed um i'm thinking should i get a bigger desk or maybe because ash is going to be moving out this episode anyway so i guess we can just sell his bed oh no i really like this desk okay yes we're using you okay i just added a few more things to the desk but i think that looks good i'm so happy this update is finally out and hopefully they can actually use it they probably can i don't think anyone's had any issues with the desk so far so yeah it's completely compatible which is great okay let me get you to use the bathroom shower and then go back to bed for a little bit oh you want to clean the sink go right ahead oh my gosh look how dusty this <laughs> sink looks though oh what is that how does the sink get this dirty what the freak Fooey, why are you still here? Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Where did he go? No wonder all of this stuff is broken. He's just breaking everything. Okay, so it's the next morning and Sage is the first one to wake up and she really needs to pee. Oh yeah, all of this is broken. So you're gonna have to go all the way upstairs to use the bathroom. Don't make a mess. Come and use the bathroom. Take a brisk shower. Okay, we have a lot of junk food, which isn't good. It's because Jack needs to keep baking to increase his baking skill. Oh, but maybe, maybe something he can do is have like a weekly bake sale out front. We can get that selling thing and he can like sell all the baked stuff that he makes. I think that could be pretty cool. Just like on a weekend when he has time. Oh, and Raven's up. She's gone to get herself some, I think it's fruit and yogurt parfait. Yeah, she really needs to pee as well. You know what, Jack? I'm gonna need you to wake up or you need to shower. Quickly repair these two and then you can shower and eat and do everything else you need to do. Oh, why are you sad? Connection denied. Oh, from yesterday. Does Jack even care about this connection to the islands? The elementals ache in disappointment. It makes sense that he was denied because I don't think he's ever been to Sulani. <laughs> Maybe we could take a trail. Oh my gosh, you look like trash. Quite literally, you literally have like dirt on you from sleeping but yeah maybe we could take a trip to sulani possibly i don't know when we could possibly do that why are you not repairing what i told you to repair you know what just take a quick shower 
and then try and repair this before you go to school and frost and ash are still asleep frost i'm gonna get you to wake up and get some food ash um you can also go and get some food oh he is excited because it is love day soon i think when is love day it's tomorrow oh love day is his birthday oh my gosh and today is amber's birthday so i'm gonna be aging her up probably giving her a little bit of a makeover just to make her look a bit older maybe growing out her hair a little bit more as well and yeah tomorrow ash ages up and moves out and maybe he can even go on a little date with nanami we will see what happens oh okay so jack is happy because he loves handiness jack is in their element sims who are doing something they prefer gain increase fun gains what that's amazing so because he's doing something he enjoys his fun actually increases when he does it that makes me so happy that means they won't be tense so easily wait so what does frost enjoy he enjoys wellness and gardening so if i get him to do some gardening his fun will go up okay come over here oh okay wait let's sweat what a rush this boost of adrenaline is making sage feel amazing should she firmly embrace with her astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes fitness whoa this is happening way too fast we literally just got out of crater sim okay um yeah maybe sage does like fitness so i'm just gonna press yes what triggered that just because she had a brisk shower she like automatically likes fitness i don't know about that one chief okay i was gonna get frost to do some gardening before he goes to school but i guess it's too late now everyone is on their way to school and i don't think yeah you didn't get to finish repairing but that's okay we can get amber to do that and ash why are you still eating go to school i think for sage i'm gonna make her make some enemies at school i've never done this so i'm pretty intrigued to know what's gonna happen who are her enemies going to end up being oh okay tragedy is awake and she what's she gonna do she's gonna go and eat ash's leftovers <laughs> oh my gosh oh mail has been delivered and i don't think it's bills which is great okay amber i need you to wake up and look after your child she has a stinky diaper so come and change that right now maybe give her some actual food as well okay sage was caught being mean to sage at school what there's another sage oh stacy oh there must be like a typo with that but her name's stacy and she's a whole teen sage was actually bullying a teen at school oh okay so we've got our first enemy <laughs> after raven very very interesting okay so for this episode what we want to do is bring back one of the island elementals fooey fooey we want to bring him back to life with the ambrosia mill and to do that we need a potion of youth which we can easily attain we need an angel fish which we already have and we need a death flower which we actually don't have and are probably gonna need to craft which i think we potentially might be able to wait let me go online and see how to craft a death flower okay we need to graft a cherry to apple to make a pomegranate and we need to graft a lily to snapdragon to make an orchid and then graft the pomegranate and orchid to make a death flower so we already have a snapdragon um do we have any lilies no which sucks okay so we don't have any cherries apples or lilies so what we need to do is acquire those uh, we have some seed packets though these are vegetables that isn't gonna help but i'm gonna open it anyway what the hell are you doing maid thank you thank you for doing your job but yeah once amber's finished her french toast we're gonna get her to open those seed packets maybe we can even ask patchy for some more seed packets lady can you like do your job just because your hair looks bomb doesn't mean you can come in here and throw trash on the ground like do what i'm paying you to do well i'm not paying her because i get the free services trait but <laughs> can you just <laughs> do what you're supposed to do thank you okay what did you get from those seed packets <gasps> okay we got an apple that's one checked off the list but we didn't get a cherry or lily and we didn't get any new seed packets from patchy and sage has two more enemies okay let's get her to stop making enemies and listen to the teacher she doesn't like argus and she doesn't like 
Angela. <gasps> Wait, isn't this another spellcaster? Isn't this like the daughter of um one of the sages? <gasps> Oh, I think I sense some spellcaster rivalry, which could be very interesting. Okay, Amber, let's get you to use the bathroom and go on your daily jog. And then, oh wait, I can just buy the cherry, can't I? Because I have that mod, which I think once we make the ambrosia meal, I'm definitely going to get rid of this groceries mod. It's a really cool mod, but I just don't use it in this let's play. It would just be way too much work buying groceries and then cooking. It's just, it's just a lot of work. So I think, I will re-download it another time but for this series it's gonna get deleted. Okay how are your satisfaction points going? We are pretty close to 5,000. That's how many we need for the money tree but we need to complete this which we're gonna have to wait for like Ash to age up to a young adult and maybe possibly propose to that kid has no legs. <laughs> I have so much broken CC and wait for Ash to possibly propose to Nanami. I do have autonomous propose enabled so there is a possibility for him to do it autonomously in the future but um for now I think I'm gonna focus on completing some of her whims to gain some satisfaction points so she really wants to call someone on the phone she wants to volunteer with family which is so Aww. cute and she wants to buy a dishwasher which is actually a really good idea so I might actually actually do that once we get home oh and the kids are home from school already or oh, ash is not doing too well but he is in a really flirty mood he had a flirtatious school day was it with nanami oh wait nanami's a young adult so who were you having a flirtatious day at school with interesting okay raven um you definitely need a shower jack i'm gonna need you to come and oh Frost? What are you doing fixing? I swear you hate handiness. I hate handiness. Frost can't stand this. When will this torment end? Then why did you autonomously go and repair it? What? Oh my gosh. And look at Ash teaching tragedy. I usually randomize each of my Sims's traits, but I think for Ash, I have to give him the family orientated trait. Oh my gosh. He loves like looking after his younger siblings. And I think one day he really does want children of his own. Own. and tragedy is being a little brat but what's new with toddlers but yeah i definitely think i need to give ash the family orientated trait when he ages up oh speaking of aging up it is amber's birthday so i'm probably gonna get jack to bake her a cake oh my gosh guys this mod allows you to buy the money fruit for eight thousand simoleons but you know what? It's not worth paying 8,000 simoleons for the money for it when we're so close to having enough satisfaction points to get it. So I am just going to pass on that. Oh, and I could also buy a lily by using this mod, but it does feel kind of cheaty. It does because I'm not like putting in the effort really to get this ambrosia meal. However, it is moving the challenge along a little bit faster because I don't plan on doing this challenge forever. I do want to try other challenges in the future. Um, not the 100 baby, I'm sorry. That just sounds like hell. 100 babies? I can barely even do seven like I'm gonna get it just to like move the process along a little bit. I know that ambrosia meal is like a big deal in a way it's like a feature that not many people use and it's supposed to be really difficult to make but i just want to move on from this section of the challenge so i think i'm just gonna buy it normally i wouldn't do this but i just want to move along with this part of the challenge so this lady what are you doing in my house get out so now we actually have everything we need to make the death flower i'm going to quickly get another planter just to plant these new flowers that we have i think i'm actually gonna get raven to plant these flowers um not flowers we've got an apple okay so the apple's gonna go here and then we're gonna put the cherry and lilies in here once they arrive in the mail oh okay so frost is off to work ash why are you going to try and pee when your mom's giving your little sister a bath what are you doing okay let's get amber to blow out these candles I feel like we have way too much cake in the fridge so we are definitely going to be putting this on that 
stool outside that Jack's gonna be selling some of his baked goods. Actually, let me let me buy that stool before I forget. And then since it's almost the weekend, we can get Jack to just bake a bunch of stuff and then sell it on a Saturday. Oh, I need to check if he has work on a Saturday as well. Oh, and I did say I was gonna buy a dishwasher. Oh, Amber's about to age up. She has just about blown the candles. Okay, Amber, let me try and get a cute screenshot. Okay, where is she gonna go and age up? Whoa! She is now officially an adult and she looks the exact same oh nanami ito is wondering if we want to go over to her house to hang out it's kind of late and we have school tomorrow so we're gonna say no she is a young adult i wonder how ash feels to be dating someone a little bit older than him i'm guessing he's like 18 19 ish well he's still in high school so he's 18 and i'm gonna say she's like 19 20 okay hopefully no one will eat this coconut cake because we need it actually can we store it on this thing oh we can okay we're gonna store some of the brownies i think so, so let's do the coconut cake first hopefully it won't spoil let's put some of these brownies in there let's put these cookies in there as well we need to stop eating so unhealthy it's so bad and i'm quickly gonna go into cast and give amber a little bit of a makeover just to make her look a little bit more like an adult than a young adult.